Folks, I don't know how many times this comes up with me. I go out and shoot a bunch of pictures, and I, I, and I make the recommended, recommended, the recommended pictures that I think are the best. And so I, I do these. Like this is Valdez Hospital. This is a place that I, I shoot pictures of all the time. I do these little panoramas and things to you know, hopefully make people happy. And but then they want to see. Well, what I would like to see all the pictures that you shot. And here I have these in a Nikon camera raw format. And, you know, I, I could try to give them little bitty thumbnails from this so they could see it. The best thing to do probably, though, is make them a contact sheet. You know, of course, I could. This is Bridge. This is Adobe Bridge. And I have Photoshop open underneath there, you can see. And, uh, you know, I could upload these to a Smug Mug account or to, you know, any uh, online type thing where they could peep at them. A lot of times, though, it's just easy to make them a contact sheet and send it. Now, I'm not going to make a contact sheet for every one of these. Well, I guess I could. It might take a while. But I'm just going to show you how easy this is to do out of Bridge into Photoshop. And it is pretty easy. So, again, you know, they want us, these are all, you know, camera raw photos. And I would have to go through a conversion uh, type situation to get these photos over to them. Maybe we will just do a contact sheet of every one of these. So I'm going to click the first one. I'm going to go down here to the very bottom. And these are all the camera raw shots that I took. Some of them are partial shots where I stitch photos together, right, to create the panoramas. So I'm going to leave all these other ones that were suggested photos down here that I did edit. And I'm going to create them a contact sheet out of this. You just go up under Tools, you go to Photoshop, and you go to Contact Sheet 2. So this is really pretty awesome. So I can choose here, you know, 8 by 10, 300. You know what, I'm going to give them a little few extra pixels on this. I'm going to say 400 pixels because it's going to make little small little thumbnails. But they'll be able to zoom in on these and see them really well. So I'm going to go ahead and say go ahead and, and make this contact sheet. It's going to do five, six rows, 31 files selected. So I, I, it's probably not going to all fit then on the page there, is it? But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might, might have picked one too many for this. But I'm going to hit OK. Now, this is going to take a while to build. You're going to see this all going on over here. It's making the page. So I'm going to hush. It's going to take probably, I'm guessing, three or four or five minutes to do this. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at what we've got. Okay, folks, so we're coming down to the very last little part here where it's rendering out the last couple of photos. Now, each of these photos are huge, right? They're like 18, 19, 20 megs a piece. No way I could send all these to everybody. Right now, Photoshop is preparing this smart object it makes. And so we should pop up here with a nice little contact sheet. And guess what we've got? We've got the contact sheet on the back side. Well, how about that? How about them cookies? How about this? Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. It makes it actually the overflow there. It scared me for a minute. Uh, we actually have a, the the fact that we could only get 30 on a page there. It, it flips over and makes me a second one. I've never had to do one like that before with so many photos. So now, so how do these look? Let's go to 100 percent and we'll see. They're actually, you know, at, they're actually big enough so that everyone can get a good idea as to what kind of shot I got there at Valdez Hospital, right? So I'm going to click my Control Zero to go back out. So we go here and check the other sheet too, just to make sure there's the medical office building. And though that's a, you know, we're at 100%, that's really what it is. There's actually my car sitting there. Uh, this is decent. This works, right? So what I would typically do if someone asks me for a contact sheet or something like this, I, you try to give it to them at a good size, something that looks good. I like to go to just uh, save for web, you know. So I say. Um, say for web right here and you know if you go about 90 percent quality here now it's going to take you a while for it to tell you what to do but you got about a five uh, six meg file might go to 80 percent i don't you don't have to save for web you can just do a look like a jpeg level seven or something like that but you see this is a very easily emailable file here 4.17 megs so i'm going to say save i'm going to put that on my desktop and so we'll call this contact sheet 01 and we'll save that baby. And then we got contact sheet 2 over here and we'll say file, save for web. And this one will be very easy. This one will be a tiny one because everything's white, right? Everything around it's white. Level 80 and we'll say save. And it'll be contact sheet 2. There's my contact sheet 1, save. Okay. 
boom. And so now I have two uh, images on my desktop, which are contact sheets, which are easily emailable over to somebody. As you can see here, the uh, if I go to 100% again, that's pretty decent quality for being able to go through and say, okay, here's what Tony shot. Let's get the big full-size versions of those from him. So folks, hopefully that helps you contact Sheets using Adobe Bridge and Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. And I'm doing this in August of 2014. Peace, everyone. Thanks.